goals in six games since joining West Ham. Or indeed, if they'd kept Darren Huckabee, who scored seven times for a struggling Coventry side since he left Tyneside in November. Coventry have won only one of their last 11 league games, but today they have Paul Williams and Noel Whelan back, both from suspension. They also have among the substitutes David Burrows, who's been out injured since November. West Ham manager Harry Redknapp plumped for an unchanged starting lineup when Slaven Village passed a fitness test this morning. His fellow defender Mark Reaper has scored in the last three matches between these clubs, but the Hammers are without Michael Hughes, who's still suspended, and young Frank Lampard, who's in plaster, but the break is not as bad as was first feared. And happier news for this couple, Nigel and Zoe Bagley, who were married in Coventry at 10.45 this morning and start their honeymoon here at Highfield Road. Well, we've made stars of them, and that brings to mind a song from the 70s, sung by David Essex, who's also in the crowd today. Mike Reed of Birmingham gets this match started, and there's no question this is what they call the proverbial six-pointer. Coventry City in the stripes, playing from the right. West Ham on the same number of points, remember, in Claret and Blue. And the first offside. It's still Hartson. And it's come off green and still not out of play. West Ham appealing for a corner when they might have snapped up the rebound. But here's Huckabee for Coventry, and they're on a break, with McAllister going through the centre. And Huckabee takes on... Oh, that's got to be a foul. He took him on with pace. And Mark Reaper just really stood in Huckabee's way. It's a definite obstruction. It's a yellow card for Mark Reaper. Oh, and deflected it in! I think it may have caught the defender. But Dion Dublin's in there too. And Coventry are in the lead. Right in the crowd there, Dion Dublin, as Richardson floats the ball in. And it was Reaper, I think, who was up with Dublin. And Mark Reaper, who scored for West Ham in the last three matches against Coventry, has done it again today, but for the wrong team. It goes in off the number eight. It's an own goal that puts Coventry in the lead. This is Williams. And Huckabee on the far side, keeping Reaper at full stretch. Bilic. Free kick. There! The equaliser for West Ham! John Hartson! The 27th minute and the Hammers are level. It's a well-directed ball here by John Moncur and the twin strike force for whom they paid a lot of money. Kitson with the flick on. Hartson, who's just got time to steer that cleverly under Agrizovic as Gary Breen challenges. Hartson, who's cost West Ham a record fee, which could amount to something like £5 million, 21 years old. Starting to repay it already, having come from Arsenal. Continues his run into the box here now. Hartson comes across. It's Hartson again. Fell over himself, really, there. No challenge. Oh, and uh, Ferdinand having a little scrap with uh, Breen. Well, I think John... Scored again! It's Rio Ferdinand! He's put West Ham 2-1 up. They've come from behind to take the lead. What a spirited reply by the Hammers. Julian Dix takes the free kick this time. And watch here for a contribution first from Reaper, then from Kitson. He gets the second touch, or forces the defender to do so, rather. Ferdinand gets it down and just toe-pokes it, really, past Grizovic. And as they take the lead, West Ham are forced to make a change because as the goal was being scored, Tim Breaker signalled to the bench that he couldn't carry on. And on comes Keith Rowland to replace. Reid wins it from uh, Porfirio. He's a tricky little customer. 
And Porfirio again. And the pullback for Kitson. Goodness, that was travelling. Hartson. And Hartson! Oh, yes! It's number three for West Ham and number two for John Hartson. Ruthless finishing again as the Coventry defence hesitated again. Kitson here came from deep. It came off Dion Dublin. Bounced once. Oh, and Dublin committed himself, missed the ball, and Hartson drove it across at Grizovic. Dublin really lost sight of it there, and goodness me, how Hartson punished Coventry. Deflected by Dowie to Unlove. Here's Dublin. Unlove! Saved by McCloskey. One of the better efforts to come in from Coventry. Peter Unlove shot. The end. Oh, he's overrun it. Well, could you credit that? All he had to do was roll it across the goal and Dublin would have scored. In the second minute of stoppage time, there was still a lingering hope for Coventry. They get the corner anyway. Dublin in with McCloskey. This is Richardson. It's back again with Unlove. And the header out is by Potts. And what a week it's been for West Ham and Harry Redknapp. A draw at Villa Park, a draw at Selhurst Park, and three points at Highfield Road. A fine performance after being behind early on. Tremendous support for the Hammers, who go three points clear of Coventry with a game in hand of them. This could prove a significant day, and if it does, the belligerence and strength of John Hartson was a major factor. Two goals for him, and Kitson's intelligent play alongside and behind him. The other player they paid big money for when it mattered most was also significant.